For any students studying anatomy who would like to make the most out of complete anatomy throughout their studies, I'm going to show you how to use complete anatomy to help with your studies of specific systems, in particular the muscular system. First, we will select the models icon, which will bring us to our home default screen. To turn on the muscular system, we simply select the muscular icon down here below. Zooming in, we can select a specific muscle. On the left hand side, what opens up is the correct anatomical name for that structure and also some information, basically the summary of the information that you might find in a textbook. Aside from the information, we also have some features and functionalities which are unique to this system. The first one that we'll take a look at is our motion icon. This muscle motion feature allows you to view realistic structural motion and articulation. When you select it, what drops down is a list of movements to choose from. If we choose the biceps brachii shoulder flexion, as you can see, the model remains completely interactive when using this feature. You can identify specific muscles by selecting the structure. On the left hand side, the correct anatomical name for that structure becomes highlighted. You can also select a muscle and apply the fade tool here, which allows you to fade, just fade the structure that you've selected and view the underlying structures and how they interact with one another to carry out this movement. The motion is carried out automatically, but you can pause and play here or control the motion manually too. And the degree of extension is listed here on the right hand side. Another system specific feature that we have is our origin and insertion tool. Here you can choose between the various insertion and origin attachment, attachment sites for the muscle that you have selected. Selecting one brings you to a close up view of the attachment site along with some unique content. Now that we've looked at some of the features and functionalities unique to the muscular system, let's take a look at some of the tools that we have which allow you to create unique content alongside the model. Firstly, we have a labeling tool. If you select a structure, the correct anatomical name for that structure is given. Double click and you can create a custom label. Or if you wish to create a group of labels, you can do so by long holding on a structure and selecting all of the other structures that you would like to include in that group. We can give our group a title as well. We select done. We can navigate around the model and use the labels to go back to that original orientation. We also have a pen tool. The pen tool allows you to annotate on the screen in 2D or annotate the model in 3D. Again, we can select done and reorientate the model as we wish. Now that we have created content alongside the model, let's save this screen. We can do this by using the save screen icon here below. Saving the screen essentially allows you to save a series of notes. We can give our screen a title, so perhaps we would like to call it Brachii Muscle Revision. Add a description, so some additional notes if you wish. Assign it to a group and then save the screen. This could be particularly useful if you wish to create a bunch of notes that you can then use for revision later on. And that's how to make the most of complete anatomy when studying specific systems, in particular the muscular system.